There's so many people at Lumina Square today. Faithen! Uh... No, that's not Faithen. It's no face. It's not surprising you confused them. Ever since Faithen went quiet, Null Face has been one of the top proxies. What's so great about Null Face? Are they really that good? Up against the famed Section 6 with the Void Hunter Miyabi in charge? I'd say Null Face is out of options. Crowded. They're all fans of Section 6. Looks like they're hosting an event here. Should we get out of here? We don't want to be another notch on Section 6's belt like Null Face. What are you talking about, Belle? We're law abiding citizens. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. Hello. You're the HIA rep who booked to discuss cooperation today, right? Yeah. I I'm going to respond clearly and directly, explain why I'm here, and show off my cool professional side. Uh... Did you mean to say that out loud? 
I'm so sorry. That's me. Uh, I mean, I'm me. I mean, I'm the HIA rep. Yes. I swear I didn't sound this stupid when I was practicing in my head, but just thinking about talking with an elite from Section 6 made me... <laughs> Please relax. We're no different from any other task force. Except... Yanagi, can I skip the next chief briefing? I'd like to continue my training of never attending briefings. That training will only get you complaints and a bonus cut. You have to attend the briefing, chief. Nagi, what's this lunchbox with berry a meal written on it? Is it a snack? Can I eat it? No, you can't. That's medicine. Asaba brought it to use as proof when he was pretending he had a stomachache to get a sick day. What? Deputy Chief, how did you know I was faking it? I mean, how could you accuse me of that? Because the sick leave request you submitted last week had a photo of this exact same box. I've rejected tonight's leave request on behalf of the Chief, so don't forget about your night shift. Forgive me. Now, where were we? Uh, you were saying you're no different from the other task forces? Exactly. Everyone's personalities are just a little more distinct. So let's get to the matter at hand. What did you want to discuss? Oh, right. I'm here on behalf of the HIA to invite Section 6 to participate in a test of our latest next-gen VR system. All the necessary application processes have already been confirmed with the higher-ups. Ah, so that's what it is. Yes, I did receive a note from the department head, assisting our partner organization in refining their new VR system by entering the virtual space as test users to evaluate system performance. But if I remember correctly, it said it would be voluntary. If you'll allow me to ask everyone first... If participating in this means I can skip the briefing, I'm in. Do we get to go to the HIA club? Oh, they've got snacks there! I wanna go! Aha! Doing the VR test means I can skip my shift, right? Count me in. They always come together in moments like this. Alright, as you can see, Section 6 is willing to participate in the VR test. We'll head to the specified address. We look forward to working with you. Fantastic! I'm gonna tell everyone at the office that it was my professional communication skills that got Section 6 to work with us. Maybe I'll even sneak a selfie as a souvenir. <laughs> You're thinking out loud again. And this is a classified area, so taking pictures is prohibited. Gasp!
Deputy Chief Tsukishiro, you're back! Is everyone from Section 6 ready to go? Yes, they'll be arriving here shortly. Since we have some time before we begin, there's something I'm curious about and would like to ask you if that's all right. Of... Uh, of course! Where would you like to start? Uh, here's my electronic medical record with all my physiological information, and here's my knock-knock ID. Just scan it to add me as a friend. No verification needed. And this is my... Oh, hold on. You misunderstand. I'm not interested in you personally. I just wanted to ask a few technical questions about the test. Uh, uh, I see. Sorry about that. I got a little excited there and misunderstood. <laughs> Concealing your tears with laughter just makes you sound even more pitiful. Our mission is to collaborate across departments to help the HIA test their latest VR system. Basically, the core feature of this new VR system is its unprecedented deep sync with sensory nerves. Simulations with such deep levels of immersion are better at tricking the brain into improved training results by convincing your body that a virtual experience is in fact real and not just visual stimulation. Of course, they've blocked off all pain sensors for this test. The plan is to roll out this new VR platform to public security, the defense force, regular investigators, and even the general public. So a standardized value system needs to be developed. Our task is to enter the simulation and conduct comprehensive battles. The techs here will set our combat data as the maximum limit inside the system. Once we finish modeling all the virtual data, our mission will be complete. Any questions? I've got a question. I've already persuaded the staff to help us submit the task report after it's completed, so you'll just need to notify the director when we're done, Chief. No further questions from me. Me! Me! The HIA will provide us with work meals and some snacks. I've asked them to allocate extra for you, Sakaku. Yay! You're the best, Nagi! I have a question as well. No, you may not take any leave. All right then, if there are no further questions... Wait, Deputy Chief, I wasn't asking about taking any leave. Oh, my mistake. That's odd. Odd? I think it's odd that you know the answer before even hearing the question. If I tried that with the girls in the intelligence unit, they'd think I was stalking them. Okay, so what's your question? How long are we supposed to conduct comprehensive battles? There is no time restriction. It depends on the HIA's requirements. However, based on the design of this test system, the session will end automatically once we defeat all the test monsters. What's that book you're holding? It's the technical manual for the VR system. I borrowed it from the staff. Most of the information I just shared came from it. What does it say on page 273? It covers the three methods for initiating safe mode within the system and an analysis of their applicable scenarios. That's weird! You said that without even flipping through the book! Did you memorize the whole thing? If you keep this up, you'll start losing your hair. Yanagi, I want you to be the executor of my estate after I retire. It's a little early to be planning for that, Chief. All right, let's put the strange questions aside and get ready to start testing. Um, Nagi, are there any unknown dangers in this virtual world? Don't worry, the HIA staff will be with us every step of the way. And also, I'll be here. I'll take care of everyone.
Let me see that. It's got a realistic weight, too. All right, then. <laughs> My weapon feels perfect, too. Simulating it to this level, well done. Oh, wow, getting complimented by Biabi. I'll never forget this day. To make testing easier, I've added a progress marker for everyone. <laughs> when it turns green, it means the background data collection is done. And that's the sign we're done for the day, right? Well then, let's begin the combat test. The first batch of test targets has been deployed, so it's Rebels. They talk less than actual Rebels, which is good. The data has been collected, and that concludes the test. Thank you, everyone, for your cooperation. Hmm. That was a solid combat simulation. Almost too real. The downside is, it ended too quickly. Now I have to sit through that meeting when we get back. <sighs> I'd much rather slack off here than work overtime. Wait, that's not right. Even though my body's resting, my mind's been working overtime. I haven't slacked off at all. This is cyber overtime. Mental exhaustion. Deputy Chief, what's another way to describe it? Karma. But we did finish sooner than expected. Was the data collection successful? Everything went smoothly. To avoid delaying everyone's work, we accelerated the back-end data modeling process. I didn't realize that was possible. It wasn't listed in the technical manual. Good job, everyone. Do you still want a group photo? Since we're done early, I can arrange that for you. Group photo? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Didn't you say you wanted to sneak a selfie as a souvenir? Uh, oh, yeah, I did say that. But I know Section 6 is super busy. I wouldn't want to bother you with something so trivial. You could head straight back to hand. Huh? We're heading straight back? But what about the meals? Ah, uh, we'll have the meals packed up and delivered to you. I'll bring up the logout menu now. Please hit confirm when you're ready. Thanks. We'll log out right now. You have now logged out of the system. <laughs>
It's just like being inside a hollow. Please stop reading my mind, Deputy Chief. This is really starting to scare me. You're scared of an empty square? No, I'm scared of how many times your mommy has seen right through my leave requests. My mommy? I've only got a sister. Let's share our findings on the investigation. Chief, have you got anything? Nothing. No matter how much I wave my sword around, nobody's coming to take a group photo or a selfie. I couldn't find anyone either. Feels like I'd be hiding until my tummy started growling if I played hide and seek here. Uh huh. My tummy isn't growling. Why? I've been running around investigating all day. Why am I not hungry? Am I sick? So, Kaku, do you really need to bug the deputy chief with stuff like this? Want to hear my theory about what's going on? Go on. New Eridu has been hit by a deadly plague. <sighs> Everyone must have been evacuated from Lumina Square while we were running those combat tests. As carriers of the virus, we've now been quarantined and cut off from everyone in this big empty square! <laughs> Miss Tsukishiro, you hit me! Not even the Chief has done that before! Uh, chief, put your hands down. That wasn't an invitation for you to hit me, too. Just because I was talking about the plot from a movie I watched last night doesn't mean you had to hit me. My apologies. Did that hurt? Huh? And you're asking me if it hurt? You sound like one of those mean homeroom teachers... Wait. N no It did not hurt. That's weird. I didn't feel anything. Just as I thought. This empty square we're in, the lack of fans hounding our chief, Sakaku's tummy, Asaba's lack of pain. Instead of assuming thousands of people could be teleported away, let's begin with the assumption that the problem here lies with us. Are you saying we're actually... Yes, we're still in the virtual environment. For some reason, we haven't been able to log out. I see. That explains a lot. Our brains? Are they in danger? Don't worry. Just in case, I can activate safety mode for everyone. I still remember the method outlined in the technical manual. I'm sorry for running my mouth earlier, Deputy Chief. Uh, from now on, I'll fully support you memorizing the manual. And I'll buy you the finest hair conditioner on the market. Okay, get me the latest shampoo from Carliche. All right, team. Let's head back to the HIA club and try to find another way of logging out. Safe mode activated. All right, you're up. Sukaku, come here. Okay, Nagi. Sukaku, Asaba, what's wrong? Whoa, whoa! No, no, no! Nagi, why isn't my body listening to me? Oh, she's right. My body. It's like it's being controlled by something else. What? Chief, are you okay? I'm not. I had the urge to kill you about five minutes ago. Yonagi. Leave it to me, Miyabi. So this truly isn't the real world. Someone's tampered with things, preventing us from leaving. Hollow Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. That logo, it's... You're going to be trapped here until your brains shut down. Oh. oh. You're finally awake, Sakaku. Feeling pain anywhere? My head still hurts a little. 
Looks like the pain feedback in the test system has been fully engaged. I'm sorry for being a bit rough earlier. I had to make sure to stop everyone. It's okay, Naki. My headache isn't because of you. More like from earlier. Seems like we're all in the same boat. A massive headache, then losing control and attacking teammates. Now we can be sure our failure to log out of the VR system was not an accident, but a deliberate act. While everyone was unconscious, the enemy sent a threat. That was brazen. Any idea who it could be? It's just speculation at this point, but the fact that the enemy was able to display information in front of us proves they've gained partial control over the VR system. So waiting for rescue isn't a good idea. But if we act recklessly, we might fall into the enemy's trap. But can they really set a trap without even showing up? This is a virtual world, and we're just data entities fully synced with our senses. Whoever controls the system is like a god here. They can do whatever they want. Hmm... The enemy delivered a threat at the risk of exposing their identity. Or, perhaps that's what they want us to believe. What do you mean? As long as we can't figure out what they're capable of, the enemy will seem like a god. They flex their power to scare us, leaving us wondering what they can do within the system. That's their plan. They want to restrict our movements and keep us in check. How did you come to this conclusion, Yanagi? Our enemy threatened to destroy our brains by eliminating our data entities. Their attempt to seize control of our bodies and attack our allies was one such effort. But if they had truly seized full control of this system, they could have resorted to far more efficient methods. They could have simply destroyed our data, implanted a virus, ordered us to end ourselves, or even eradicated us along with this realm. But they didn't. So it's very possible they simply can't, because they don't have full control over this system. That's possible, but... Maybe they're just not as devious as you, and haven't considered doing it. I'd say that's impossible, because they're up against us, Section 6. <sighs> they can't beat us in the real world, so they've gone to great lengths to trap us in the virtual world. We have the most promising Void Hunter in New Eridu, so if I were the enemy, I'd want to take us out quickly. The more they bluff, the more it proves there's still something we can do. You're the most cautious person I know. I've never seen you take action based just on speculation. I think I'm the most cautious person you've ever met, too. What you've just heard are speculations from the most cautious of people. But I'm not taking risks because I'm reckless. Quite the contrary. The situation is dire, and we'll have to take the initiative to survive. Hmm... It's been a while since you spoke to Harumasa in such a serious tone, Yanagi. This reminds me of our first days in Section 6. Everyone, do you trust me? Well, you've laid it all out, and I don't have any other ideas. Like Harumasa said, this is all just speculation without any solid evidence. If we're wrong, things could get worse, and there's no turning back. Aw, Nagi's tail is drooping. Oh wait, Nagi doesn't have a tail. But I have faith in you. As the chief, I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Just tell us what to do. Thank you, everyone. As for what we should do, I'm sure you all remember in the previous combat test, there were still three monsters left to defeat. Yeah. They said they'd already gotten the data they wanted before we could take them down, right? Exactly. And do you remember the briefing before the operation? About the rules I saw in the user manual? Once all test monsters are defeated, the test will automatically come to an end. Got it. So we need to go back to the test stage and finish off the last three enemies. This is the best approach given the situation, but I'm sure our enemy won't just leave them there like sitting ducks. They have partial control over the system and will stop at nothing to eliminate us. We're just ordinary officers, while our enemy has far more resources and room for error. Are you worried, Naki? No. It's our enemy who should be worried. Are you hearing this, you shady coward? You're messing with the elites of New Eridu.
the enemy has access permissions to allow them to change the station dynamics. Strike is fine. The enemy is tampering with monster data in the background. in a drawn-out battle. Let's go after the target first. Enjoying the fight too. Avoiding the fight like that. It must be one of the missing parts of instinct you know how to leave this virtual space talk <laughs> you're never leaving <clears throat> uh, huh? hmm? we're back in the uh, hia room again whew, i'm exhausted maggie you did it that's the deputy chief for you <clears throat> well done <clears throat>
Do you remember the key phrase to start the test? Yeah, it was that cool one. To feast on the city's delights. Or something like that. No, Sokaku. I don't think that was the phrase. It was more like, to shine the light of justice, eliminate all evil. Yeah, something like that. That's just the version you wanted, Chief. The correct phrase was, <clears throat> To protect the city, I shall become the light. It's rare for Asaba to remember such details, especially at work. You can recite the slogan this time. Wait, so you guys conveniently forgot because you were embarrassed to recite it? Oh, fine, fine, I'll do it. But don't stare at me. It'll make it even more embarrassing. <clears throat> To protect the city, I, Asaba Haramasa, shall become the light. Huh? Why isn't the stage activated? Did I mess up the words enough? Uh, what? <gasps> Aww. Why are you all staring at me, Enna? And why are you all so tall, Enna? Uh, wait, why am I talking like this, Enna? Uh, Asaba? Is that you? What's going on? Is this some kind of prank, Enna? Of course I'm me. What? Enna! Harumasa turned into a bamboo. Hold on. No. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Enna! But, but, but why? Where's my body? Is this for real? Did I actually turn into a bamboo, Enna? I mean, sure, my old body wasn't perfect, but, but this. These stubby arms and this clumsy body. I'm totally useless and now. Aw, cheer up, Harumasa. You're not useless. You're the best. Now's really not the time for that, Enna. <laughs> it's that person. The know-it-all intel officer, dragging everyone down with her. Just as planned. My strategy worked. The enemy made a mistake. Pfft, keep deluding yourself. Thanks to your foolishness, those battles gave me all the data I needed to take over this system, and soon to take over you. Your teammate's data model is complete. I've made some small optimizations to it. Soon, he'll be on a fast track to brain death. Wh what do you want from us? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I want revenge on the Invincible Section 6. That archer was the first. Next is the kid, and then the pride of the Hoshimi family. And you, the know-it-all intelligence officer, I'll make sure you're the last one. I want you to watch as your teammates, under your leadership, walk step by step towards the... Sakaku? Don't listen to that ugly loser, Nagi. I... I don't really understand what I was talking about. But I do know one thing. It was showing its face now because it's panicking. Hey! Is that why you smashed me through the TV screen, Sokaku? Oh, the screen is back to normal, Anna. I told you, I'm slowly seizing control of this system. Soon, I will be the god of this world. If I want it restored, it will be restored. And if I want you dead, you will die. I get it now. <laughs> too bad. It's already too late. That means you're admitting it yourself. 
You haven't taken over this system, and you don't have the power to change the rules. It's reassuring to see the rules in the technical manual still apply. If we kill all the test monsters, it will trigger the end of the test. We're heading in the right direction. You've provided me with very useful information. <laughs> you think you're so clever. If that's your conclusion, then you're even dumber than I thought. Let's see if you're still smiling the next time we meet. You sneaky little creep! Don't run, Nina! Uh, where are the others? Darn it! The path's blocked. Should we go around, Nina? Blocked again! It's a dead end! -a. Stay calm, look around. The wall on the left doesn't seem very sturdy. Looks like we can break through it. Trying to lure us in, Hannah. At this point, the only option is to catch up and take it down as fast as possible. Shortcut as well. Get out of the way, Anna! Don't block the path! Let's make this quick. Don't go unanswered. Huh. 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 
Quick spot located. Sukashiro, that's... Sukaku, Miyabi! Oh no, there's nowhere to go! Nagi said we can't let the chief's data get stolen so quickly! Leave this to me! Sokaku is giving it her all. But even so, it won't be enough to hold out for long, Anna. Uh, hey, Sukishiro? Oh no, Anna! No, no, Anna, Anna! Nagi! Yanagi! Forget about me! Get out of there! I told you your assistance is useless here. Really? Useless? Hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for... must be you. Damn it! Soki Shiro Yanagi! Stage complete. I knew trusting you was the right thing to do, Nagi. The second monster is done! Woohoo! We're almost there! I don't like just sitting here watching while my teammates fight without being able to help. But I'm glad you're okay. Deputy Chief, now's a good time to act badass, right? Maybe drop a cool line, like, I'm just an office worker. Something to rub it in, Nena. Technically, I am an office worker. And you've done a great job as a bang boo, Harumasa. <sighs> huh? Why has everyone gone quiet? <gasps> you! Curse you! A mere intelligence officer messing up my plans! You again? <laughs> Seeing us destroy two of the test monsters meant you finally had to act? With one more to go, your plan is about to fail. Arrogant as always, intelligence officer. Are you sure your teammates can hold out that long? I have faith in them. You know nothing of their strength. <laughs> you don't need your teammates to teach you how to act cool. You're pretty good at throwing out those cheesy comic book cool lines yourself. I'm just stating the facts. You've tried manipulating the data, the terrain, the system, and you still can't beat us. I think knowing when to give up is a form of wisdom. Yeah, I agree with you on this one. Sometimes it is wise to give up. Oh? It's been a while since I met such a reasonable villain. I might try and get you some special treatment as a prisoner. Maybe a pork cutlet that Tsukaku hasn't already nibbled at? <laughs> I mean, giving up on you. If it weren't for your interference, I'd have already dealt with those three. So I've decided to stop wasting time on you and focus on what's important. Hold on. What are you planning? Get out of my world! Stay out of my way! Wait! Wait! Uh, Miss Tsukishiro? You... you... I... Where am I? Is this... Ah! Miss Tsukishiro! You're awake! Thank goodness you're back. You're back in the real world.
Miss Tsukishiro, the login link has been re-established, but part of the system is still under the enemy's control. The message authentication information missing keeps popping up, so we can't log in. I have an idea that might be worth a try. What's that in your hand? Oh, a new Eridu Guardian badge? That's a really unique design. Is it official hand merchandise? That's not important. Please take this badge to the specialist team for analysis. This is... incredible. Wait, do you intend to log into the system wearing this? It's the missing authentication information, isn't it? Yes, but it's too risky. Once you log in, you won't be able to activate safe mode. Even the pain feedback protection will be disabled, and it could... There's something I'd like to confirm. What is it? Are the core system rules still in effect? I'm talking about the content in this user guide. This system creates an immersive virtual realm synced with the user's senses. Once all test monsters are defeated, the session will automatically come to an end. According to the specialists, these rules are intact, correct? Uh, of course! These are the core rules governing the VR system. Our battle with the enemy has always been about gaining control of the system. And they have neither the ability nor the opportunity to alter them. Great. Then I'm going into the system. My teammates are still out there. Please assist me. I'm counting on you. <laughs> that was so moving! I'm going to create a dedicated fan club just for you! And one day, I'll make sure everyone in New Eridu is a die-hard fan of Miss Tsukishiro! Uh... You're thinking out loud again. No, no, that's just what I'm saying out loud. My inner thoughts are way more embarrassing. If I were to say them out loud, you'd never look at me the same again, so I'll stop. But since you've made up your mind, I'll give it my all to support you. I swear, as the founder of the Tsukishiro Yanagi Fan Club, I pray to the founders of Eridu, to Lady Sunbringer, and the leftover noodles from lunch. I pray for the safety of you and everyone in Section 6. Thank you. <laughs> I'll make sure they all get back safely. Something out of a nightmare. So this is what nightmares are like. Wait, Chief, you've never had one? No, never. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 97%. Miyabi, there's no time! Please listen to me! There's no need. Have you already uncovered the enemy's secret? Yes, Chief. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 98%. You've got a plan to take them down, right? I do, Chief. Miyabi's combat data collection progress is at 99%. Then I'll leave it to you. Miyabi's combat data collection progress has reached 100%. Data collection complete. Model construction in progress. To protect the city, I, Tsukishiro Yanagi, become light. Located. Surrender. We 
Located. They're coming to you. Huh? Huh. Again. The flick is about to strike him. Don't go and answer. Finally clock out. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. Everyone's been light for so long. It's time to go back to being human. that power in the virtual world from now on. Noted. I told you the deputy chief would be all right. 
How do you feel? Sore all over? Maybe now you can relate to how I feel when I want to take a day off. I'm glad you're safe and sound too, Asaba. However, I think you're cuter in your bamboo form. Deputy Chief! First you slap me physically and now you hit me with words? That's just cruel. Thanks to you, we're back in the real world, Yanagi. Your strategy worked, as always. Once you're back on your feet, will you help me draft my will? Now's really not the time for this, Chief. And what's with the will all of a sudden? In large families like the Hoshimi family, such things must be sorted early. Oh, though I'm totally overjoyed to witness this reunion, I'm afraid I have to interrupt. Just to be on the safe side, we need to give everyone a quick medical checkup. So, the virus was implanted in us by the enemy through that badge? Virus isn't exactly accurate. It's a set of identification codes that aren't inherently dangerous and don't actively emit signals. Their sole purpose is to be detected during a full body scan when the wearer logs into the VR training machine. But when read, it becomes a virus. It opens up a back door allowing the attacker to hack into the system. Or at least, that's what the tech staff reported. But, Deputy Chief, how did you know the badge contained this... virus? Looking back, the only distinction between my actions and everyone else was I didn't interact with any fans before the mission started. To ensure all the citizens who trust Hand feel at ease, the higher-ups have consistently encouraged officers to treat the fans as kindly as possible. It's only natural everyone wears the gifts sent by the fans. So that pretty badge was actually something harmful. Oh, no. I can't remember who gave it to me. If I could, we could trace it back to them, right? Don't worry. I've already asked reliable colleagues to follow up. Could it be an insider within the HIA? I did have my doubts. But then I thought if an insider wanted to tamper with it, there are plenty of ways more subtle than implanting an identifier code. The most suspicious person, naturally, is the one who has the strongest reason to target Section 6 right now. Oh. Section 5? Now isn't the time for internal jokes. Chief, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? No face. We're just one step away from taking down their leader. If they were going to make a desperate move, now would be the time. No face once hacked into the HIA system and potentially gained access to internal intelligence. Furthermore, conducting electronic warfare through hacker groups has always been no face's specialty. Hacker groups. So in other words, the remnants of Nullface, who normally operate independently, are now joining forces? This is their last stand. To efficiently organize their attack against us, they likely aren't too spread out, making it the perfect opportunity to capture them all in one sweep. Huh, they can't beat us in the real Hollows, so they cheat in the game world? These guys are the worst! So, when are we going to go after them? Rather conveniently, the intelligence from our partner department has just arrived. How about we take them down today? <laughs> <laughs>